welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today is so, such an exciting video. I'm so excited to talk about this. Or by the time like I post this video, I will already be married, which is crazy. I am filming this in August of 2023 and I'm getting married in September of 2024. And I'm so excited. I wanted to talk about our venue. I love our venue so much. I just wanted to share a little bit more about our venue and just like clips and pictures and stuff like that from the first day that we toured the venue. So without further ado, make sure you subscribe and follow along for all of the wedding content that is to come because if the wedding's over, I'm gonna be posting a lot, lot more content because duh, I can. The first thing I wanna talk about is of course, when we were getting there. So we went, I, okay, let's back up, sorry. We got engaged and that day I started, or like that night, I started looking at venues in places around where I live and I found this venue that I absolutely loved and I had followed them for about a year just because I saw them on Instagram or something and made me want to follow. I don't remember the specific reason why I followed them, but I looked up venue on my following list and I found that venue that I had followed a while back. I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I love this venue so much. I want to tour it. I want to get on the books. So I reached out and we got a little tour. And when we went there, I was like getting a little nervous because I loved it so much. Nothing compared to it to me, in my opinion. I loved how timeless it was, but also how different. And I loved how modern it was, but also not too modern where it was like, you know, too black and white, too modern. Just like, it was just kind of like soft modern, if that makes sense. And we went to the venue, we pull up and I was in love with it. Like absolutely in love. We took a tour of the chapel first, which is where the ceremony is going to take place or did take place, I guess. Um, and we walked around and there was this really pretty, like little room for the girls to wait pretty much before we're walking down the aisle. Um, and it was so cute, it had a bunch of pink little couches and stuff like that. And then we walked into the actual ceremony um, like room and it was so beautiful. Like the pictures and videos don't even do it justice on how beautiful it is there in person. The lighting just is so phenomenal. I've never seen such beautiful lighting in my entire life. I'm telling you guys, it was so pretty and there was like no lights in the whole thing, but because of how it was like placed, there would never be beaming sun because they said it like they placed it so that the sun sets and stuff front and behind it so that it's not like glaring in through the windows because there's a bunch of windows. She said that. And I don't know, I just knew, like as soon as I walked into that venue, I was like, I am in love with this. This is where I'm getting married 100%. And Zayden even like pulled me aside and was like, wow, this is like so gorgeous. And I'm like, I know, it's so pretty. Like the pictures don't even do it justice. I'm not even kidding. We went up on this little balcony area, which is a great place for like the DJ or the photographer to kind of get some more shots and stuff like that. Um, and that's where we took like our picture together in the ceremony. I wish we would have, taken a picture up at the front, like where we we're supposed to get married, but we didn't actually. We only took a picture up on this balcony, um, but you can just tell the lighting is so amazing from all the pictures and telling you they're so good. So that was that little area. There wasn't a whole lot to it. Oh, there's this like really cute bell that we get to like ring after we get married and it's like the chapel bell. I think that's such a cute little yeah moment i don't know i just love it the chapel is so so beyond beautiful on the outside i don't know what it is but it's just amazing like i just feel like it's so different but also so modern but timeless i just loved 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 the way the chapel looked i just i i can't even put it into words how much i love the chapel after the chapel and after the ceremony we were going to go to the reception which she walked us over wasn't too bad of a walk um and there was this little cocktail hour area which was a little bit of like some turf on the ground um there was some little mini golf areas there was uh just some really cute stuff over there i took a couple videos of it and then there was an indoor outdoor patio area which we're probably gonna put our buffet there um i don't know for sure but good little area for a buffet um stuff like that and then you walk in and there's a bar there's a little designated bar area which for the bartender obviously 
and then it's the reception hall so it's so beautiful it's like a big barn it's so white but also not too white where it's like oh my gosh this is so white french door from a chapel in france and they actually have it at the reception and at the ceremony so they have the door in both places which is really cool one's painted white and one is just the normal wood at that reception area is where the men's like quarters are and also the women's quarters the men's is a little bit small it's just like some couches a bathroom and a tv and stuff like that um the women's one is so so big it's huge probably because of all the bridesmaids but i'm not having bridesmaids personally it has little places to get your hair and makeup done. It has a couch, it has some chairs, it has this really pretty balcony for pictures and also just like you can have your mama where you're on the balcony and you're like, I'm getting married today. I love that little get ready room. I think it's such a such a great room. Um, and I was really, really excited to, you know, get ready there on my wedding day. I think that is really all about the venue. They also have a car, like a getaway car. You only get into it for pictures and to go around the block and then you get into your normal car. But I think it's a cute little touch to the um, venue. Like it's a good little add-in that they can, you know, charge a little bit extra and you get those pictures and you don't have to buy like a getaway car necessarily because like you get the pictures with that cool getaway car and then you can get like a normal car to drive away in. I love, love, love our venue, beyond beautiful. It's so quiet. There's like nothing around there, which is good and bad because obviously we want a little bit, you know, we want it to be easy to get to, but also I love how quiet and, and peaceful it is out there. Um, such a beautiful place. I don't even know what else to say because it's just so beautiful and I'm so excited to get married there and I can't believe by the time I'm posting this video, I'm already married and already had my wedding there and I booked it right away. Like we left the, the place and I booked it like immediately after. I know if you guys have any questions about the venue and if you like my video or what kind of venue you like, I just think it's such a beautiful place and I cannot wait to get married there. It's absolutely everything I could have wished for and more. Um, it's just the most beautiful venue I've ever seen. Um, there was definitely some other venues that I liked, but this one just, as soon as I went, I just knew that this was my wedding venue, like for sure. I love that it's a chapel because it's still kind of like a church in a way, but it's not actually a church. Um, I don't know. It just has a great feeling to it and I just can't wait to get married there. So 2024, here I come. I'm so excited. I'm gonna be a wifey. I love this shirt, it's so cute. I got it from some kind of place. I'm making a video about it, but uh, yeah, I love you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed this video um, and liked all the pictures and videos that I insert throughout this. Um, I will see you guys in my next video and yeah.